Hi friends, we used to get multiple beautiful images in every WordPress demo content import. Images are necessary part of every website, no doubt. But what if we are getting unused images at our installation? We created this wonderful website using a very perfect WordPress theme in the last video. And we got, I am going to show you uh, 211 media items in the demo import. It is nice to have the demo images and the uh, images in the demo import in fact. But these all images are of course not being used at this website. Particularly if we have chosen a particular home page or particular set of complete website as a demo website. So it has multiple pages of course projects, blogs and home page standalone. And the theme brings multiple home pages as well. But these all images are not being used at the current website that we have chosen. It means these images, most of these images are useless at this installation. And what if we are keeping useless images, unused images at our installation? It is going to consume bandwidth and you might be knowing in this these all images creates a uh, default pages i'm going to show you how it works this is a page url for image and it is creating a, a specific url for this particular image it means for all images this activity is being done by the wordpress core and it clearly means that it is consuming ban bandwidth, the disk space and many more things like if hotlink protection is not on so it might be a security risk as well. So there might be several reasons for not keeping the unused images at WordPress installation but how we can identify the unused images at our installation and how we can remove this. This is a very, very serious question and it is our important activity which is generally ignored at every WordPress installation. So this video is about how we can remove the unused images at our WordPress installation. This is a very, very important process. So don't ignore this and try doing this at your installation as well. And this is in fact a problem with WordPress uh, at we are bonded to have unused images at our media library. But yes, like other problems, this one is also having a solution in form of plugin. So plugins are the great thing for WordPress installations. And there is a very popular plugin for this purpose. I mean, for removing the unused images, but I am not going to use that. I'm going to show you a very, very new plugin not exactly very new but yes it is new and it can work perfectly for the purpose it has been made i'm going to show you so this plugin is named as media hygiene of course it is a hygiene process for media and we can remove or delete unused images and too much things using this plugin and Media Hygiene can remove unused media files with 99.9% .9 confidence. So it is written by the plugin author. And I can see the plugin is being updated regularly. It has got 600 plus installations as well. And it is tested up to latest version of WordPress and it has got good ratings. So let us see if it can, this plugin is going to solve our issue. And in fact, the problem of every WordPress installation and it is generally ignored as I say and, and it uh, is a mandatory process for removing the unused images. So it is going to be the perfect solution for optimizing your WordPress media library and it is powerful plugin. You can quickly and easily remove all unused images. So let us see how it works in 
action and and let us install this plugin so i'm going to install this plugin directly at our HTS. okay so plugin can be found easily since it is a completely free plugin and uh, we can find it simply by typing media hygiene in the search box and i'm going to install this plugin and it has been developed by media hygiene itself so developer's name uh, is also media hygiene and let us check this plugin in action i'm going to activate this plugin and how it works further so okay so its link is expired it is strange yes i can come back here and the media hygiene is here i'm going to activate this okay so after activation we are here and there are some important notices before using plugin make sure you have proper backup of your website that okay that is fine so i have this backup uh, it seems that a scan has not been performed yet depending on the server and the size of your site it may take some time to complete a scan please initiate a scan uh, and be patient that is fine so important warning use media hygiene with caution always backup first the dynamic nature of wordpress and its theme and plugin ecosystem may result in miss labeling files of deletion okay so if you experience an issue please contact okay support team okay so media hygiene free has uh, had detected the following plugins installed please upgrade to pro version to detect unused images in these plugins so slider revolution and elementor just in case if we also want to remove the images from being used through this plugin add this plugin like elementor and revolution slider depending upon your installation so for this installation the media has been found that um, there might be uh, some images that is being used by the elementor or slider revolution that cannot be detected so here is important question what is the difference in the free and the pro version so in the free version we are going to get um, unlimited sites dashboards and the standard scan whitelist and delete download media by page works with gutenberg and elementor as well what is repository support and if we get the pro version it has more features like one website all standard features deep file folder scan works with major builder themes okay that is fine so you can check all this uh, through the link given in the video description so i am going to proceed further with the free version first and i can see the general summary total media media in use and all these summaries are here so we need to run the scan first media left over breakdown okay so this is also a thing but nothing is here as of now because we have yet not run the scan and i am going to setting just to check all the screens what are the settings available so these are file extension that we can check so file exclusion in fact delete data on uninstalled error log okay uh, supported tools that is fine so okay so from the most of the tools like ocommerce and the seo plugins are not supported in the pre version this is also an important thing the system the system uh, i mean the server status can be seen here and get help and the folder scan is already a pro feature of this plugin okay so let us first run the scan i am coming back to the dashboard and clicking on a scan let us see uh, how fast it is and it is going fast actually so uh, for 211 images i was having in this installation and i believe it is running so fast and it is hardly going to take a minute for my installation that is having 200 plus images okay so it is now complete and scanning the data the step three and the fourth step is going on so analyzing data okay wonderful so here are the scanned images that is uh, unused 17 and 
white list is zero for this standard mm, for this scan total media 211 media in use is 141 media left over that is uh, unused i believe uh, 17 70 media left uh, total media space 28 mb and it is showing all the stats that is so these are the 17 images, 70 images that is not being used for my installation and we can simply delete these media items. So let us see who would uh, delete media by page only free. Get the one sort delete feature pro. Okay, so we can do this by page only. So seven pages are here. So we can simply click on the uh, button. Are you sure you want to delete unused? Okay, yes, yes, sure. I agree that delete. Okay. Let us see. Total image deleted 10. Okay. So six pages are still remaining. So I have to run the process seven times because um, the free version is allowing to delete 10 images at a time. And this is going to be last attempt to delete last 10 unused images for my installation and all the leftover images unused images not all exactly because the pre version was scanning up to limited extent and we need to have the pro version if we actually want to have a deep scan like folder scan and all but yes this this plugin really worked fine and so the initial the media items was 211 and now only 141 images is images are here at my installation in the media library so we can open the media library again and just check 141 so it is good thing that we have at least cleared uh, directly unused images through the pre version and if we, you are really keen to delete all the unused images you need to have the pro version of course but it is a good solution no doubt and it is working fine and you can also use this solution for your installation and it is definitely going to free up your disk space it is going to uh, save your bandwidth and even the security purposes are going to be high uh, when you are not having unused images at your data lesson so i believe this plugin is really going to be helpful for you and this video remained helpful in understanding the importance of not using unused images not keeping unused images at your wordpress installation so in the next video i'm coming with more solution till then goodbye keep watching thank you